Hey, you. Ebony and her two lambs. Woo! What a jump! My goodness, you're full of the vims and vigors of life. You're just very shy, whereas your mother is very friendly. <laughs> Ebony thinks she's going through the gate. Sorry, girl, not going through the gate. Got to do the evening count now. The evening lamb count. Start at one field, end of the field and work your way the other. How are you doing, lady? Look at that, eating a dockweed. Eating dock. And we're told sheep don't eat dock. She just nibbled that dock. Dock is rich in vitamins and minerals. And it tastes good when it hasn't been artificially fertilized. So you've got a good soil biome. And that means your dock tastes good to the animals. Even my horses eat their dock. Isn't that right? How are you, Judy? You good girl. You're beginning to get a very pale blanket as well. That's interesting. That's two of them. Very strange. And there's a lamb, two lambs all on their own. Having a conversation with Inca. They're at the mineral lick. Deep in the buttercups. Now, as you can see, the horse chestnuts are out. The beech is out. The ash is out. The walnut is the last tree to come out. And the walnut tree planted by my grandfather still is very small in its leaves. There's not much there. And then the lime tree is definitely out. The oak tree behind the lime tree, that's out. The willow is out. But this walnut, it's actually, it's baby leaves are absolutely beautiful. Let's see if it's baby leaves are out yet. Because they're a beautiful, rich color. Let's see. Oh yes, some of them might just be coming out. Let's see. Oh, this branch doesn't look very alive. I think the horses ate too many of these. Oh, yep, there you go. The horses pruned that too well. But let's see if we can, there we go, zoom in. You can't really see the color of the walnut leaves. But they're beautiful, rich color. It's hard to see. It's all at browse height because the horses prune the leaves lower down. Anyway, I should probably continue counting sheep, not admiring the leaves of the walnut tree. Oh, look there. If I zoom in on that, there. Yeah, the walnut leaves are just coming out. Beautiful color in them. So this walnut tree will, would have be of a great age at this stage. Not sure when my grandfather planted this, 
but they're very, very slow growers, that's for sure. Okay, I better continue counting my flock. Hey, kitty, where are you? Hey, kitty. <laughs> Look at you galloping through the field like a cat possessed. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. I've got to go count sheep. There's some over there. Let's look at the ones down here. Loads of grass, as you can see. Hey girls, how are you? Yeah. Gonna go down, the gray ghost of a lamb is here, down here. There's another lamb behind, lying behind. You can only see its ears twitching. Look, right there. Well hidden. Whoops. Everybody's getting nervous. Because I have the dogs with me. But it makes it so that I can count lambs because those hidden in the grass leap out of the grass. Look at how fat the yos are doing. They're doing really well on the grass, even though they're feeding their young. Everybody's looking fine here. Looks like you just woke up and you're going like, uh, where do I go? I was in a lovely deep sleep. Look at the cat walking with the dogs. Oops, I'm moving too fast, sorry. Don't wanna make you dizzy. How are you? You good girl. <laughs> oh, kitty. I'm glad you like running up the hill away from the cars when they're passing. That's a good thing. Isn't it? Yeah, kitty. You, you might have to run again because the alpaca are here. Hey girls. How are you guys doing? Look at that, loads of grass, seed heads. It's lovely watching the sheep or the alpaca browsing the seed heads. Hey you, how are you? Look at that dock. That dock is mostly eaten now. How are you guys? How are you? You good girl. Yeah. There goes the cat. Such long eyelashes. Oh, hey, yeah, Inka Dink.
Are you following me? Oh, I'm picking you up because the grass is so long. It's exhausting for small legged dogs. Hey, old lady, how are you doing? Yeah. She's probably being the babysitter because she's there's four lambs, two of which are not hers. This is the yo, by the way. Somebody was asking about the yo that was lame again. Uh, that it's been lame, got better, went lame again. She's actually recovering. You can see the back left. She's standing on them. Let's move. Can you go? Do you see? She's not lame anymore. So she just needed some willow. I swear I gave her no antibiotics. I gave her willow, horse chestnut, and oxide daisies. And that seems to have solved the problem that the antibiotics didn't. So you can see, you can see the lamb's face. That's the lamb's face with the jigsaw puzzle. So come on, walk on. Look at her back legs. She's walking on both of her back legs fine. So she's recovered, yay! With, from that willow that the alpaca are under, the horse chestnuts, and then I went and picked oxide daisies somewhere else for her, because there's um, not many in this field. Is that right? Hey, I have admit, how are you, kitty? Are you coming out too? Okay, let's leave her lying down. Don't need to make her get up. Unnecessary. Come on, pups. Kitty, come on. You frightened all the sheep. Look at that. Nice crop of buttercups. I didn't mean to disturb you, beautiful. That's Gracie. And Bear disturbed her. Bear, leave it. Come on. Leave them be. Come on. Come on, Bear. Good boy. Good boy, that bobbing black blob of Bear. Come on, dogs. <whistles> and oven mitt saying, I'm quite comfortable here. Okay, I'll follow you. On that note, I'm going to sign off for the evening. I've walked the flock and they're fine. <laughs>